Hello everyone, welcome to the next episode on my channel from the series Autocritic. Technically, this time greetings to all subscribers, fans. Today I would like to show you <coughs> how to convert a cordless like this screwdriver into a corded one into a mines power adapter. So let's start. What we need first of all, we need a cordless screwdriver with used batteries like this with no accumulators, with damaged batteries. For that's what we need a power supply, preferably regulated from. Twenty volts to twelve, twelve volts to twenty four volts. <coughs> it can be so what the power supply from other devices such as photocopier, printer, computers, ATX, or laptops, or laptops like this. <clears throat> this power supply, notebook for notebook, regulated amperage and volts. <coughs> it's important that the current capacity of such a power supply is at least 5 amperes up to up, uh, higher what we need to do <coughs> to convert a cordless scrap driver into mines one. First of all, of course, disconnected body with batteries cut off until we see two contacts like this. <coughs> in the scrap driver plus and minus cable we have only two cables plus and minus we have a regulated power supply here like this Regulated power supply. Here I have a 12 volts, 12 volts screw driver. Also charging to 14, 15 volts. 15, 14, 14, 15 volts. The power supply will be appropriate. Uh, of course, we cannot exceed voltage, don't use too much nominal voltage of the screwdriver because we can damage the electric motor that is on the screwdriver. When we already have a regulated AC adapter in our hands, of course, Of course, it's the best. It is best to connect it through the connector. I use the temporary, temporary I use the temporary uh, regulated uh, the best connect adapter temporary solution here insulated with insulating tape so as not destroy the AC adapter maybe it will be useful in the future parts or in some other circumstances also to power a laptop or other devices. It's also worth 
converting the power supply itself so, so that it can be connected with some quick connectors or use a plug type socket of course the power supply is connected to the script driver by marking the plus and minus cable cables these are only two cables two wires to connect also everyone can handle it without a problem it's just worth paying attention to the polarity of course so as not to make mistakes because the script driver will not start for us after connecting the power supply to the script driver respectively plus to min plus minus to minus the scribe the script driver works without any problem what in a moment i will show you we can also use an old laptop power supply everything of course we have to check carefully what is the power supply the script driver 18 volt script driver is it is known that the power supply must be 18 to 20 volts for the script driver to start lower voltage in the power supply will cause the script driver to have much lower revolutions and will have a problem with scraping in the scripts here too that would be enough in in this episode regarding the cordless script driver and converted to mains power what did work i will show you no problem with work Scrub, script driver cordless working on with main power with corded power supply with laptop there is no problem okay <laughs> That is all. Thank you for your attention. Greeting, greetings to all supporters, subscribers and uh, sympathetic. See you to the next episode. Bye bye.